Hey, what's up, y'all? See Brew Fish in Philly. Uh, we just getting in here. We had a little, uh, we had a Whole Foods run today. Uh, picked up a couple of jars of Bubby's. Well, we have a jar of uh, uh, Bubby's Pickles and uh, Bubby Sauerkraut. The real deal with those products are is uh, they're actually probiotics. Original probiotic before they got into this. Let me get a little closer, see what happens here. Yeah, those are the original probiotics, uh, which is but what it is is just generally a, a fermented foods. So they just put these in some salt and water and let them sit, and they ferment sauerkraut, and then you had the dill pickles. And those are the probiotics. Uh, it'd be nice if you could do it yourself. And here in the bags, this one is, uh, that's ginger. And these are antibiotics. Ginger, and then we have the uh, organic uh, organic uh, uh, garlic. You know, the thing is, I had I went downtown. It wasn't to, uh, to purchase these items, but I was in that area. I actually went downtown to, uh, to grab this item. And this is uh, Octel Joy. Tablet two. Uh, they have them at the library. Uh, you know, I used to get something like this from the li- a Nook reader, maybe five, ten years ago from the library. So uh, I'm in. The, I was in the market for a new some, something I could read when I go to sleep. Instead of sitting at this desktop, and what I had was uh, I had my old. You know, I had to do some work to get it. You know, I was trying to see if I could get it working, which I probably could, but it would take some time. And I had to do a couple of things. The touch screen seemed to stop working, what have you. So I was looking to buy one. And uh, I remembered that at the library used to lend these jokers out. So I called them up. And the lady said, uh, actually, the program started uh, Monday. That we are, we do have a tablet that's, you know, that we lend out. And we just started on Monday. I said, "Wow, that's great!" I used to come there years ago. She said, "Well, that was old, you know. So you know, that was way that was, like I said, over at least ten years, five or ten years ago." So she said, "Well, come on down." It is, they were available at two different spaces, spots: uh, the main library and, and uh, one up the northeast, which is one I go to. I go to both, you know. Anyway, so I said, uh, "You know, I'll, you know, I you know, went on down and I picked one up." So we're sitting here now. I haven't even opened it yet. So uh, if anyone out there who needs a tablet, let me open it up for you. Hold on a second. Put this microphone. And he gave it to me. She said, you know, uh, the slip on it says, uh, no need to return. <laughs> but really, it's, uh, let me get myself in the joint, in the shot. But really, but really what it is, it's, uh, she told me, uh, you got it till June. Well, she sent me an email or something in June when it's time up. All right, Hebrew Fish and Philly, just wanted to do that. Uh, we in this perilous times with this, uh, they did a horrendous, a horrible thing the other day. Uh, uh, just, uh, I think it was today, today was Tuesday, it was, came out Monday, yesterday, I think, that they're, uh, they're going to require, they're going to require that, uh, in order to eat in the city, you gotta have, you gotta take a jab. And that's really horrible. I mean, I really thought, you know, it's, see, it's always in the back of my optimistic mind that things are gonna go the other way, that they're gonna come to some conclusion. But no, it's not. This thing is gonna get tighter and tighter. And they made a little split, which is the whole thing. The line, it's a message there. It's a message there. Generally. Uh, 
They're trying to do the haves and the have-nots. That's one thing, the, the, the vaxxers and the un, unvaccinated. But the greatest point, the point I wanted to make, uh, which came to me last night, is that people don't really understand uh, who their, who their uh, nemesis is. You, you think you may be dealing with the mayor, the governor, the president. Well, all of that is hogwash. All that has nothing to do with what's happening at this point. This is your ancient enemy, which uh, very few, uh, uh, they don't know much about him. Even though it's in the book, what he is, what he does, and what he's trying to do. But the main point is, uh, for everybody, I mean, they say within the camps or within the community, or within the spiritual community, that he doesn't play fair. But really, he's not playing at all, so I don't like the, you know, that, that's, a, that's an apt term, though. But I had a deeper term. The point is, is to bring about your end and to take you with him. Uh, so the way things happen, the confusion, the duplicity, you know, with the vaccine jab, you're going to be safe. And whereas well, everybody knows that the vaccine doesn't make you safe, you can still be catch it. You can still spread it. It doesn't do either one of those things. It makes the sa- It makes but one claim. And that claim is if you catch it, your symptoms will be less severe than if you hadn't been jabbed. That's the claim they made from the beginning, and that's the same only claim they make to this day. But the impression is you get this jab, basically you get your life back, you go out and get a grub, you get on a plane, you make start to be able to travel. But my belief is that the jab is to- so, totally weaken your, your immune system. And I know for a fact that those who get the jab, well, let me get, I don't want to, uh, like I said, I don't want to spread no division out there. All right, it's Hebrew Fish and Philly uh, with Ramlin. I'm going to push this out. Shabbat Shalom.